Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We're in North London now. We're standing outside the back end of Alexandra Palace. This is a part of this building that most people never get to see. Now we're going to take you on a guided tour of this building. Um, we're convinced that this building is a celebration of the return of the demon angels who came to the earth, as mentioned in Genesis 6, um, and took the women of the earth, had children with them, and these children became great giants and wreaked havoc on this earth. Now, if you look behind me, um, I'll ta start taking you through this. You'll see a large red disc, um, and around it there is a white disc, and in the middle there is um, another small grey disc. I believe that this depicts the eclipse of the planet Nibiru passing between the sun and the earth and this is a celebration of that event. Above it also you will see a six pointed star um, which has been damaged on the building here on this side of the building. However, um, look carefully and you'll see that um, it seems to have wings on each side again depicting the winged disc and the six pointed star which is a representation of, um, of Satan. Now th this whole building um, is steeped in this kind of symbolism um, all the way around uh, and we're going to take you on a guided tour of this and also show you a couple of other things um, which were not built into the building but were put in recently uh, which may make your hair stand on end. Um, enjoy the tour. First of all let's take a look at the back of Alexandra Palace. As you can see it seems that some of the building has been deliberately defaced. The six pointed star in the middle at the top has been removed, however you can see the framework, so clearly it was there and there is another depiction exactly like this, undamaged on the other side of the building, which I'll show you later. And also the grey circle, that appears to have had something removed from it too. Now the interesting thing is this, Nibiru is allegedly eight times the size of the planet Earth and the red disc you see there is eight times the size of the grey disc. So I'm going to superimpose a couple of pictures onto this so you can see what I mean. First of all, let's add the six pointed star taken from the other side of the building and put it where it belongs and also enhance the wings. Secondly, let's superimpose a picture of the earth over the grey circle. Now it's beginning to take shape. If we take a closer look you can see that the um, balcony beneath the circles is made up of hexagons all in a row and they look like X's depicting the planet of the crossing. This is the reason why I believe that this building is a celebration of the eclipse that will happen when the Nibiru passes between the earth and the sun. Here at the front of Alexander Palace um, you can see behind me, there, again, there is a very large circle uh, in the centre of the building there um, with a fantastic design. Now this design is, is made up of triangles. There's loads and loads of triangles. It's a symbol of the sun. And directly smack bang in the middle is another depiction of the eclipse uh, that Nibiru will cause when it passes between the sun and the earth. Above that, you'll see a six-pointed star. Now, that six-pointed star has six rods, six points on the star, and six crescents. Well, that's six, six, six. And that six-pointed star is in a circle, and it has wings on it again, as you can see. So, again, it's a depiction of the, the winged planet. And at the very summit of, um, of the pyramid there, 
uh, at Alexandra Palace, you can see an angel. There's, there's a problem though. That angel is female. There is no such depiction of any such being as a female angel mentioned anywhere in the Holy Scriptures. And in fact, females was the very reason that the demon angels came to earth, to take the human females and to have sex with them because they lusted after them. And that depiction is in Genesis 6 and it's further clarified in the book of Enoch. Now that angel at the top there um, has a, a bundle of, of wheat next to her feet on, the, uh, on, on her right hand side. And on her left hand side, she has uh, the Horn of Plenty. Now in her right hand, she has a disc. And she's holding it in a very special way. She's holding it so that her forefinger and her little finger are sticking out, which is um, a salute of Satan. and she's holding that disc to show it's the horn disc, the flying disc, um, that's the, the, the names that are given to Nibiru as well, Planet X, the planet of the crossing. And with her other hand, she's uh, making a sign. Now that sign seems to be similar to many of the signs, uh, hand signals, which are done in many um, um, icons in churches, particularly in Orthodox churches. However, please remember that the Holy Scripture speaks about he who presses with the foot, winks with the eye, and signals with the fingers, is planning evil. Now from the front of Alexandra Palace, looking directly up at the um, flying disc, the all-seeing eye, if we scan the camera around, you will find that the all-seeing eye is actually looking straight over all of London. You can see the best part of London from there. And that's where the all-seeing eye is looking from. And that's also where the angel's standing over, watching us. OK, now we're standing outside the um, Alexandra uh, Palace um, ice rink. And as you can see, directly above my head um, is a symbol of the winged planet Nibiru, again, um, right in the middle of, uh, of a pyramid, which can also be seen as the eye of Horus, the all-seeing eye, the eye of the devil, uh, depicting the watchers. But um, it's definitely a depiction of uh, the winged planet Nibiru. The whole of Alexander Palace is surrounded by winged symbolism and the fencing that surrounds the entire area is of no exception. Look at this. And this goes all the way around Alexander Palace. Also here at the Palm Court entrance of Alexander Palace, as you can see at the top, there's um, an Eye of Horus, um, which can also be interpreted as the winged disc. And um, on each side, there's the curled ram's horns on the left hand side and moving over to the right hand side we see the same thing once again again all of these things being depictions of Satan and in the middle we have a sun symbol and once again the winged disc Nibiru